friends, this is Father Dan. I am so glad that you're joining me here today. If you're not there already, please go over to your prayer table. Today you will need one large candle and seven smaller candles for your prayer table. So please go ahead and get those if you have them in your home today. Now let's take a few moments to breathe deeply as we get ready to pray. Breathing in, we breathe in all of God's love for us. Breathing out, we let go of anything that's making us feel sad or mad or distracted today. We breathe in, we breathe out. And now, I will light the large candle, which is our Paschal candle, and your parents can help you do the same. As you might remember, the Paschal candle is a large candle that we have in church normally, and this candle is meant to remind us of the light of Christ. And now I will pray the prayer that we are saying in church this Sunday. This Sunday is a special Sunday. It is the day of Pentecost, when we remember and celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. If you have the Book of Common Prayer at home, you can find this prayer on page 227. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O God, who on this day taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending to them the light of your Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. As I said, this Sunday is a special day in the church calendar. It is the day of Pentecost. We call special days like Pentecost feast days. They are happy days, days to celebrate in the church year. And this day we celebrate and are happy because this is the day when we remember the coming of the Holy Spirit. So go ahead and wish someone around you a happy Pentecost. On Pentecost, we use the color red to decorate our prayer table. You'll also notice that we use the color red in church. So as you watch church from home this Sunday, look for the color red on the altar and in the vestments. I wonder why we use the color red on Pentecost. What does the color red remind you of? I wonder if it reminds you of God's love, that bright, beautiful, fiery love and light of God. When Jesus was born, the great light came into the world. But there were those who could not believe that he was the light of the world. They had him put to death on the cross. And for a time, it seemed as though that light, the light of the world, had been snuffed out. Three days later, though, Jesus rose again from the dead, 
with a new life. He rose with new life and with a light that can never be put out by the darkness of death. In fact, it is the light of the risen Christ that overcomes all darkness and death. And that is what we have been celebrating all of this Easter season. And it's in fact what we celebrate every day of our lives as Christians. Jesus is alive and his light shines for all the world to see. Before Jesus' death and resurrection, when he rose to life again, Jesus promised to his friends the gift of the Holy Spirit. Forty days after the resurrection, Jesus told his friends, the disciples, to wait in the city of Jerusalem. And then he left. He ascended into heaven. And ten days later, while the disciples were together, waiting for the gift of the Holy Spirit in Jerusalem, something wonderful happened. Listen to this story of this wonderful thing that happened from the book of Acts. You can find it in your Bible in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. And when the days of Pentecost were drawing to a close, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a violent wind blowing, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them parted tongues of fire, which settled upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in foreign tongues, even as the Holy Spirit prompted them to speak. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When the Holy Spirit came, the church was born. So, the Pen so Pentecost, the day of Pentecost, is also known as the church's birthday. I wonder what people do when there's a birthday. They give gifts, of course. Well, the Holy Spirit gives us many gifts. Gifts to bless us and to help us to grow as God's people. There are seven gifts in particular that the Holy Spirit gives us. As I mentioned these seven special gifts, I will light one candle for each gift. Go ahead and light each of your candles as well. If you can, light them from your large Paschal candle to remember that the gifts of the Spirit come to us through our relationship with Jesus. The first gift we remember is the gift of wisdom. This is the gift that allows us to understand the things of God. The gift of wisdom. Next, we have the gift of understanding. The gift of understanding is the gift of knowing why things are the way they are.
Next we have the gift of knowledge. The gift of knowledge is the gift of being able to learn more about God and who God is. Next, we have the gift of counsel. The gift of counsel is the gift that helps us to know what to do, to do the right thing. Next, we have the gift of fortitude. The gift of fortitude is the gift of strength from the Lord. Next, we have the gift of piety. The gift of piety is the gift that helps us to love God and to love all that God has made. And finally, we have the gift of the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. And this is the gift of knowing how awesome God is. Those are the seven special gifts of the Holy Spirit that we receive. And later on in life, when you are confirmed in that special rite of the church, the sacrament of confirmation, you will receive those gifts, those seven special gifts, in a very special way. All of these gifts are given to us to change us, to help us, and to give us a deeper way of knowing Jesus in this world. Remember, Jesus is the light of the world, and he gives that light to us by the power of the Holy Spirit. And now we will sing a song about the Holy Spirit as we get ready to pray for these gifts, to receive these gifts. Before you sing, listen to the tune and listen to the words a few times, and then try singing along.
Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for being the light of the world. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit who brings your light into our lives. Help us to receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit, especially those gifts we most need and most want today. Holy Spirit, come to us. Kindle in us the fire of your love. Amen. For today's activity, please see the Christian Education email for a special craft project. There's also a recipe to make a mug cake, a cake that you can make in a coffee mug, as a way to celebrate Pentecost, the church's birthday. Why not have some birthday cake today on the church's birthday? Thank you all for being with me today. This is the last church school video for the atrium uh, that will offer this program year. And there will be uh, more resources and materials coming out for your summer season. And now may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen.